Welcome back. Yes, counting of a different kind sometimes involves counting calories. Now, David, uh, if there's one thing where calories usually get piled up onto in terms <laughs> of food, it's a plate. It is a and, plate. And plate is exactly where you're going. In fact, the Greek word platus, which means flat, has literally plated up some amazing words that are sitting in the dictionary here, uh, a, um, a feast of words. Now, not only do we have plate, and we have plate armour, of course, but we have platter as well. We have platform, a flat surface, and plateau table land or a flat top mountain. And the other one is when uh, a, a gentleman called George Shaw, who was uh, a naturalist, uh, first observed this very strange creature uh, when the white uh, settlers came to Australia that had fur, it had webbed feet, it had a duck bill, it had a spur. The best name that he could come up with was platypus, which literally means flat foot. Um, and I could only imagine when pictures and word of this creature went back to the uh, mother country. They probably thought it was a flat-out lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was such a strange-looking thing. Uh, all the rest of the combination, apart from the feet, was a bit hard to describe. That's right, like a hybrid. Yeah, interesting evolution of the language. Thank you, David. Pleasure. Let's have a look at the scores. And Angela is on 7, Paul is on 21. And we're heading for some more letters from you, Paul. A consonant. Thank you. D. Consonant. T. And again. Q. Ooh. And another one. N. Vowel. A. Another one. I. And another vowel. O. Uh, a consonant. L. And a vowel. And lastly, A. Thanks, Lily. 30 seconds on the clock. You didn't look too happy when that Q came up, and I noticed you were asking for a few vowels, but that, that U wouldn't come. How did you go, though? I got a five. A five, and Angela? A six for me, Richard. Let's begin with your five, Paul. Talon. And your six? Atonal. Oh, a musical term, David. And an impressive one, too. Well played, Angela. Uh, this was a particularly miserly mix, Richard. Could not find a seven, and the six... Sixes I did find were very obscure. Atonal is one, having no key. Another is anodal, A-N-O-D-A-L, which relates to the anode, which is the positive electrode. Well found, David. It was a tough mix, but Angela scored six points. Well, as David described the last one, a miserly mix. Let's see if we can get a generous mix this time around. Angela. Uh, could I have a consonant, please, Lily? Thanks, Angela. S. And another consonant. F. A vowel, please. E. And another vowel. I. Another vowel, please. O. And a consonant. D. Another consonant. W. One more consonant. G. And a vowel, please. And lastly, A. Here's 30 seconds. Question, Angela, was it a more generous mix? I'm afraid not, Richard, a five. Five for you, Paul? Yeah, not generous for me either, I also got a five. Let's start with that. Wides. Wides, and Angela? Goads, G-O-A-D-S. So, still tough, David. <laughs> 
Hark your mind back to those cricket days. I, I, in, that's, that's what I eventually tweaked to. Yes. Wides, as in wide. That's exactly right. That's the noun sense. So wides is per perfectly fine. Goads, good as well. Uh, more of this uh, miserly behaviour. I could only find a six or a couple. One of those was dosage. Well done, David. But, uh, gee, just five points each for Angela and Paul. Well, let's hope the numbers are friendlier than the letters have been. Paul, what combination? Um, can I get uh, the family mix? Too large, four small. Thanks, Paul. Too large and four small. And starting with the smalls, four, three, eight, two, and the too large, 50 and 75. The target to reach is 810. And 30 seconds to get there. I got uh, 807. 807? Well, that's uh, only three off, so well done. Angela? Uh, 807 for me too. The same for you. Well done as well. Paul, take us there first, please. OK. Uh, 50 multiplied by 2 to get 100. 50 by 2 is 100. Multiplied by the 8 to get 800. By the 8 is 800. Add 4 and the 3 to get 807. Add the 4 and the 3 is 807. So, good going. You're not far off, Paul. Angela, same method? Uh, I did the same, but in reverse. So it was uh, 50 by 8. 50 by 8. Uh, 400. 400. By the 2 is 800, 800 plus the 3 and the 4. Yeah. 807. Well done. OK, very similar. But, uh, in fact, perhaps because it is just in reverse, just verify that uh, you've used a very similar method. And, well, there we are. We are just three off at the moment. Lily, can you yep. take us closer? Yeah, I can. Um, now, 75 plus 4 and 2, which is 6, is 81. Um, and let's make a 10. Um, 50 divided by 8 minus 3 gives you 10. Multiply that 2 together gives you 810. Ah, very nice. Well done, Luke. But well done to Angela and Paul. Seven points each, so Angela's on 25. Paul is on 33. Let's head for another break. And that means another word mix. It's cane mink. And this time, your clue, what you get when you shorten Nicholas. Back in a while. <laughs> 